Mathematic Success Book 2 Chapter 4 Measurement of Length, Mass and Capacity Students Learning Outcomes After completing this unit, you will be able to compare the lengths of different objects, recognize the units of length, meter and centimeter, use standard metric units of length, meter and centimeter and their abbreviation to measure and record lengths of variety of objects, use addition and subtraction within 100 to solve real life situations involving lengths in same units. Length How much longer is the car than the bicycle? Look at the picture of a car and a bicycle and then just find out that which is longer, car or a bicycle. Yes, absolutely correct. The car is longer than the bicycle. Now, how do we measure length? To measure the exact length of these objects, we use standard units of length, that is meter and centimeter. Centimeter is used to measure the length of short objects and meter is used to measure the length of long objects. For example, cubit from your elbow to your finger, fingers, hand span and pace. Standard unit of length. As we have seen by using non-standard units, if two persons measure the length of an object, their answer may differ. If your hand is bigger, then your hand span will be bigger. And if the hand is smaller, then the hand span will be smaller. Same is the case with pace and cubit and fingers. Meter is the standard unit for measuring length. You can see a meter rod in a cloth shop. You can also see a meter rod in your science room. A meter rod is divided into 100 equal parts. Each part is called a centimeter. Smaller lengths are measured in centimeters. One meter is equal to 100 centimeters. This is written as 1 m. m is the abbreviation of meter. 1 m is equal to 100 cm. cm is the abbreviation of centimeter. You also have a scale in your geometry box. It is 15 centimeter long. Write down the lengths of the objects in the box. You can see a scale here and different objects are given here. Just measure them and write them in the boxes against the picture. Now just let's do the first one, the pencil. Look at the pencil, how many centimeters long it is? Yes, it is 14 centimeters long. Absolutely correct. Question number two, say yes or no. Brush is longer than pen. Now measure the length of a brush and a pen. Yes, you can either it's a paintbrush or a toothbrush. Let's make it a toothbrush. Toothbrush is longer than pen. Yes, toothbrush is longer than pen because the length of a pen is 5 cm and the length of the toothbrush is 9. So toothbrush is longer. And similarly, you are going to do the other questions this way. Comparing the lengths of different objects. The length of your cricket bat is about 1 meter. The height of your reading table is less than 1 meter. The height of your teacher is more than 1 meter. The length of your bed is about 2 meters. Units of length. Meter. To measure the length of long objects, we use meter tape or meter rod. We use symbol M for meter. The length of the green board is measured in meters. The length of the study table is also measured in meters. Centimeter. Centimeter is used to measure the length of short objects. We use a ruler to measure the length in centimeters. We use symbol CM for centimeter. The length of the pencil is measured in centimeter. The length of the eraser is also measured in centimeter. Try this. Measure and write the length of the given objects. 
Yes, the first one is again the pencil. What's the length of pencil as shown in the figure? Yes, it is 6 cm. Similarly, you do the rest of the questions. Measure the length of the object with the help of the ruler and write the length in centimeters. Now you take out your scale from the geometry box, measure it and then write its length here in the given boxes. There is a picture of a pencil given, then a screw, then a screwdriver, a comb, a spoon and a straw. Addition and subtraction of length. Fahad has 46 cm long piece of wire and Umar has 31 cm long piece of wire. Find the total length of the wire. Length of Fahad's wire 46 cm. Length of Umar's wire 31 cm. Now you put them together 6 plus 1 7, 4 plus 3 7. Yes, this is 77 cm. Don't forget to write the unit. Always write unit along with the number. I have 25 cm red ribbon and 18 cm long green ribbon. What is the total length of both the ribbons? Length of the red ribbon is 25 cm. Length of the green ribbon is 18 cm. Now add 8 plus 5, 13. Write 3 here, 1 carry forward, 4, 43 cm. The total length of both ribbons is 43 cm. Also tell which ribbon is longer and how much. When you have to find out this, write the length of the longer ribbon first, that is 25 cm. Then write the length of the shorter ribbon, that is 18 cm. Subtract 18 from 25 and you get 7 cm so the red ribbon is longer the length of the red ribbon is 7 cm longer than the green ribbon let us add and subtract the units of length now you know how to do it just look at it and see how they have solved it try attempting the questions given on page 116. The first one, let's do the first one together. 65 centimeter plus 11 centimeter. Now, if we do it mentally, you see, 65 plus 10 is 75, and the remaining one is 76. This is how you do it mentally, but otherwise, 5 plus 1 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. So this is 76 cm. Do the other sums yourself. Now I'm sure you are capable enough of attempting these sums on your own. Hina bought 3 meter cloth for her shirt and 4 meter cloth for her shawl. How much cloth did she buy altogether? 3 meter plus 4 meter. 7 meter cloth. Yes.